Ave Maria, this is Father Martin Mary of the Franciscans of the Immaculate and we are have here a video tutorial on how to post a blog or article on our site mim-us.org um, First and foremost, I recommend to use either of the three preferable uh, browsers that you could utilize for this particular job or work. Now, the first one that I recommend is to use Safari, uh, which is um, produced by Apple.com, and it's available for both PC or Apple uh, operating system. It's a free download that you could get from Apple.com. Another one is Google Chrome, which is authored by Mozilla and can also be used as an uh, effective browser uh, to create a post on our site. Uh, another uh, and a third uh, browser that I highly recommend is to use Firefox Mozilla, uh, which uh, you can search uh, Google search to find a downloadable link and all of them are for free. I recommended this tree in order to show you that I uh, discourage the use of Internet Explorer, which normally comes as a default browser to a lot of PC or Windows uh, computers. Why? Because Internet Explorer has a lot of diverse coding not compatible with the other browsers. That's why uh, it will not show um, effectively and uh, beautifully our site because of this uh, code incompatibility. We try to troubleshoot that later on to make it also cross compatible with Internet Explorer users. For the time being, I'd like to launch our Firefox by Mozilla to get to our site. Um, we have to type the address of our um, website mim-us.org and click enter. The first thing that we welcome is, is this pop-up uh, window that I produce, which will show up only for the first time user or visitor of our site. It's supposed to recommend the use of Chrome, Safari, and Firefox, as I already mentioned. And uh, the functionality of this site will not completely work with Internet Explorer. And, of course, a recommendation to register to our site in the pull-out tab. Um, website so let's try to get rid of this uh, pop-up window and there's in order to post or create a, an article for a blog uh, we have to log into the back end administration dashboard of the site we can do that in two ways either by clicking this tab on the right side of your screen and a pull-out tab will show you a login field and password that you could enter your credentials in order to uh, post article or blog. Another way, of course, to do that is when you scroll down, you will see at the bottom of these uh, uh, preview icons of recent articles, a username and a password field. And when you log in, in there, then you will certainly be uh, given opportunity or links to post new article. Now let's use this pull out tab to uh, uh, enter our administration site. I'll put there my username, which is already showing up there, the password, and then click login. As soon as you logged in, there is a toolbar that will show up in the uppermost part of the site. This is called the administration bar. You will notice here the indication that you're logged in with your specific username. To you edit your profile, which you could add information about the biography and other stuff like adding avatar or changing your avatar. And of course, the link to log out after you finish, uh, you know, altering your, your, your article. Now, there's also here a link on new. Uh, which shows you to add new article or post. Uh, I probably would not be concerned about this last two, which is only for the 
um, uh, author of or the administrator of the site. Only the post in the media will probably be useful. Uh, here it shows you the comments uh, wait, awaiting moderation. There will be numbers there uh, indicating that there are comments that needs to be approved or denied uh, by the author of the post. And of course there is the dashboard. Uh, now let's click new here. In automatic you are being brought at the back end of the site. Let's be familiar with this beautiful uh, layout of the WordPress editing tool. Um, there are actually three columns that you could see here in this particular window. The left column which indicates the different settings and menus and functionality that could be accomplished in the WordPress. Um, the second, of course, the, the, the right sidebar indicates some of the publishing uh, uh, some of the publishing features and properties that we'll try to explain later on. The main part of the window is the middle part, which is the editing or authoring a page or column, uh, where there you could type the title of your article, the body of the article in this field, and some of the general settings which we'll try to explain as we go along with um, the um, tutorial. Etc. Now, the very basic thing, of course, is just to add the title of your article. And I have a, a prepared article here that I just need to copy, or you could type directly to the uh, editing uh, field. Let's, let's type here third order Franciscan, or better, Franciscan third order. In the church. This is an article on the third order in general uh, uh, in the church. Now this is now the editing tool or the editing window. Uh, this is what you see what you get uh, uh, filled which means it's operating almost similar to your Microsoft Word or word processing program. You will notice in the upper uh, corner here two tabs visual and text. The text is only meant for people who knows how to use codes and to uh, enter visualization changes by entering specific CSS codes. I think uh, most of us will be just using the visual, which is uh, the actual appearance of the article as you see it as being edited. Now, there are two ways to actually uh, write an article. Either you write directly here, you compose, etc., and you save it as a draft if you're not ready to publish it yet or you have already a prepared article from another word processing program now be mindful of course that some of us or perhaps most of us are using microsoft word and i repeat this we cannot just copy and paste directly from microsoft word to this particular window editing field what i have to show you is this in order to do that if you have documents from Microsoft Word or other word processing program, uh, it has to be pasted in a specific uh, uh, window indicated by this field. For example, uh, I'll show you that this particular tab will show us other tools uh, that we could possibly use. You see, it shows up, it hides. So uh, when we are pasting something from Microsoft Word, uh, document you have to click this word I could paste from word the purpose of this is because Microsoft Word tends to produce its own code when we try to copy and paste directly from Microsoft Word to the field without getting into this window we are seeing now it will import as well Microsoft Word coding which will upset the layout of our uh, 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 of our um, blog or our site. Now if you're just pasting directly from a text pad or plain text, just click this plain text etc. Since I have a plain text here uh, that I would like to copy, I just copy it and click text, 
plain as basis plain text copy there and then insert now that gets inserted directly there now you notice this is kind of huge uh, uh, paragraph this one automatically does paragraph uh, and you could adjust a little bit the paragraph spacing there just into one space rather than double okay, those are the main headings now you prefer probably would like to do some changes in the headings of some of the paragraphs different from the you know uh, uh, the rest of the article the headings are usually a uh, uh, description of some of the paragraph as to capture interest of the reader um, we can format that automatically in this site uh, by doing this way scroll up again the article you highlight the heading that you wish to change and under this paragraph uh, field with an arrow click the arrow will show you different kinds of heading now uh, it will show you it's using this visual heading in this editor but the style and the font of the heading is determined by our template you don't need to change that except the sizes so we kind of prefer to use heading 2 for example that changes that uh, heading 2 be uniform in the size of your heading as I mentioned, the, the font type and the color is determined by the, um, the theme of the site. So you don't have to change that to avoid you know, lacking uniformity. Since this article was used with permission from Catholic Answer, I'll try to highlight that and click, uh, of course, the um, italic to emphasize that. So, that's basically how to format this using these different icons of what you see and what you get. Now, if you wanted to, uh, to see uh, how it will look like uh, without uh, publishing it yet, click Save Draft, etc. And immediately, a new, uh, a new uh, menu shows up here on the top of the administration bar you can click that to view your post as it appears actually in the site remember this is not yet published you see you see it's showing up our our formatting there of the headings etc now let me return back by clicking get edit post i designed this site especially the blog this is your publishing on the blog section with specific category so that's where we come in this particular uh, sidebar of the window in the dashboard if you actually scroll a little bit down you will notice of course that uh, there is a window called categories by default it, it check and categorize try to uncheck that and look for the proper blog section that you believe your blog belongs. For example, you're writing for a church about a church or about evangelization, catechism, about fam. Then choose that uh, category. Category acts like a, a file folder when you put specific files and classify them as such. Since we're writing about the third order, I'd like to uh, click the category blog MIM spirituality for now. I repeat that the main blog that you're concerned of is only the blog section and other uh, section is determined by uh, the site administrator and the designated uh, coordinators in our site. The, if you scroll down again, there are tags. Tags are actually some keywords that uh, are prominent in your article. It doesn't have to be many because they are important for search engine to find your, your article. For example, in this, I could type third order as a tag click add or MIM as a tag click add something like that you don't have to write all the words that you are found in your article otherwise you know uh, it would not be good for search engine uh, etc now the rest of the configuration you have to ignore and if you scroll back and at the very bottom of this main page you will actually see a page layout 
page layout shows you how the sidebars and the, the header will show up. Is it in the right or in the left? Our site is designed to have only the right sidebar. If we need a, a sidebar, then click that. And when you click that, another option shows up here. Uh -huh. And there is an option to choose which kind of sidebar that will be applied on the right side. It says it's default. Since blog, uh, since we're writing for blogs, we have to choose blog sidebar. There's also newsletter sidebar. So click blog sidebar. Echo. And then that's that's actually what it is. And then try to save as draft. If you're not ready, of course, to publish. And then we could actually view the post. That's the actual post. Now this post automatically gets added to the main page of the blog in a nicer way. For now, it's not showing up because I believe it's just saved as a draft. When it's finally being published, then it will show, uh, you know, uh, the actual recent posting. It should show here, and this gets pushed, you know, uh, towards uh, the end. Um, so let me actually return back to that post and edit it. And if we start to publish, it will show up, of course, in the main blog uh, front page. We'll just click publish for now. Publish means making it public. Okay. Now, if I click the view the po view post, of course, I'm brought to the main article page. And if I click blogs, it gets added as a kind of a summary in the front page of the blog. You see, Franciscan Third Order in the Church. You'll notice that there is no image yet here because that will be done. The tutorial on how to add image automatically here and on the main page uh, of the article here. That will be done in the next tutorial. So for now, that's actually what I would like you to teach you about uh, posting uh, a blog or article in our site mim-us.org. I hope you had a brief and uh, you know clear uh, understanding of this particular post. Um, before ending, I remember one thing uh, that could be done. If you turn back to edit posts, and if you have any question, there will be a link here called the help for WP, which I will explain in the third tutorial. These are actually links to some of the basic video tutorials on how to create blogs or gallery. If you need to put some thumbnail uh, pictures of uh, uh, pertaining or related to your post, then I'll show you how to use this help for WP in the next tutorial. Thank you, Abby Maria.